Hello everybody, my name is Kristen and welcome to the channel. So yeah, it's been a while since we've uploaded a video. Um, we've been back home for a while now and I've been dealing with some bad ankle pain. I'll get into that in another video, but for right now, uh, we got some preparations to do. Um, today's the day before a hurricane is supposed to hit here in Florida and everybody is prepping, getting ready, and we're going to be doing the same thing. Uh, it's not coming towards us. It is coming towards the panhandle of Florida. We live more in the Tampa Bay area, so hopefully, I'm crossing our fingers, it will be in the clear. But you never know with these hurricanes. Sometimes they will turn unexpectedly. You never know sometimes. But most of the paths we're saying that's going to go towards the panhandle, not us. So we'll keep our fingers crossed and pray for us that we'll be okay. Um, most likely from where we live, we usually just get a bunch of wind and rain, maybe heavy wind and some branches that fall off of the tree here and there. Okay, so we are going to get started by showing you some clips from the news from yesterday and the day before. September 23rd, 2024, and we got a hurricane that's going to be coming towards Florida. Let's see where it's going. Right. Here's the latest forecast from the Hurricane Center. This is at uh, 11 o'clock this morning. We'll get another track update at 5 p.m. They say still a, well, potential tropical cyclone, maybe not even a depression because we can't get thunderstorms over the center by later tonight. But by tomorrow, 45 mile per hour winds, likely tropical storm, Helene, H-E-L, -E, the cat one strength. Wednesday. 74 and above makes it a hurricane. It would be at about 75. That would make it Hurricane Helene. And then Please ignore my kids in the background. This is the issue. Wednesday night. It's coming towards us. Our winds. Thursday morning, We're 8 o'clock. out in like this area Tampa, over here. 110 mile per hour winds. Landfall. By the way, 110 is the very top end of Cat 2. We consider a major hurricane's Cat 3 or higher. Cat 3 starts at 111. Whoa. Right? So Almost there. This could be a major hurricane. And, and intensity Shoot. forecast will change. The track will change. Now, Anything can change, there's yeah. There's the landfall up just uh, in the Big Bend area. Wow. Just west of that. Now, and this is what it always looks like whenever we have a hurricane coming towards us, especially towards the Tampa Bay area, which is where we live. The majority of the time, whenever we get hit by a hurricane, we've been very lucky, and I hope that, uh, knock on wood, we got wood over here, that we stay lucky this year again. So keep us in your prayers, fingers crossed. You know it's a serious storm when they come on TV. Generally, mandatory evacuations um, come from that storm surge effect, so um, they've been closely watching um, the, the track. We're meeting with the National Hurricane Center and the National Weather Service multiple times a day to truly understand uh, what our specific <coughs> impacts are for Pinellas County and the municipalities within, like, St. Pete. It starts falling. That's given us an indication that it's starting to come. Oh, boy. And then we have another watch out there. I said it was like a tropical wave. Oh boy, it's going to be a category three now. Crazy. It should be hitting us Thursday night. We're in a hurricane watch. So far from what I'm seeing on the forecast of this hurricane is that it's supposed to be hitting more towards the panhandle. It's been staying more west of us, which is kind of nice. But I feel for everybody that is going to be dealing with this hurricane. I hope that you guys stay safe, get your preps ready, and prayers out to you all. Cross your fingers for good luck. Hope everybody comes out alive. Nothing bad, I hope, happens. You see that on there? Um, I'm going to show you guys the lines real quick. But yeah, there's the spaghetti models that is saying where it might go. Um, these ones are more closer to us, but we are farther away from that. It's more north than where we're at. We're more like the Tampa Bay area. But yeah, not too bad. I hope everybody stays safe out there. Good luck and get your preps ready because it's coming whether we're ready or not. Okay, so now that I've shown you guys some of those video clips, um, I'm going to be showing you guys something very special. Um, some friends of mine, they go to this place called Hudson Beach, and it's a pretty decent beach in my opinion. I have recorded a video there, I just never put it out yet, um, but I am planning on doing that very soon, so please stay tuned for that video. But yes, I got some special clips I want to share with you guys. So take a look and see who came here to Florida. Okay, so I'm on Facebook currently. 
and I have some friends that were out at Hudson Beach, and they ended up seeing Jim Cantori. Like, how cool is that that he was actually out here? But there's always something funny when it comes to this guy being here. Everybody freaks out thinking, oh my god, we're all going to die. We're going to get bad weather. But <laughs> I think we're going to be okay. I just wanted to share some video clips of him being here at Hudson Beach. So check it out. I'll do that so I can keep my friends' names private. Like, look at that. He was here in Florida. Right, because it's so big. You're talking about something that's 400 miles wide. That's a big storm, guys. And so we may have a very similar scenario than what we had, Chris, uh, with the Dalian. I'm talking about 6 to 10 feet, which is the forecast. That, that representation that Jackie just showed is likely what we are going to see in spots. But yeah, I just wanted to share a couple of video clips. Thank you to my friends. You guys know who you are. I did get their permission to use these clips. There was one more thing I forgot to show you guys, and that's what the hurricane path looks like right now. So I'm going to show you guys some video clips from the news. And this is September 25th, 2024. Okay, so it's a Category 1 hurricane currently. This, uh, this was at 11 a.m. Okay. There's the path. It's going to be a Category 3 at Tallahassee. It's staying away from Tampa so far. But we will be getting hit with a lot of wind and rain. And I will be keeping you guys updated on everything else, okay? So please stay tuned. But yeah, I just wanted to share a couple of video clips with you guys about what the news is saying, cause yes, we are having a hurricane, and yes, we do have other hurricane videos. I will put the links in the description box down below so you can see how we prepped for hurricanes, how we prepped our house, we went, we went grocery shopping, all these really cool tips that you might use. So yeah, go check out those other videos, and I will be keeping you guys updated on this hurricane. Please stay tuned, and we will be doing more family adventures very soon once I can walk again without the crutches. That's another video for later. Thanks for being so patient with us. We will be putting up more family vlogs and other videos very soon. Okay, guys. Well, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.